Well, I, I think, honestly, this is a process. This is an evolutionary process for us in the North. You know, I mean, decades back, if I sit down here and say to you that I want this country restructured, if I go back to Kano, I probably will be, you know, stoned or, or, or harassed. But I can tell you now that the reality of the country's structure is down on everybody that it's not workable. And this is one of the factors that made us realize all of that. We used to think that it is about getting a super leader, a credible leader that can move this country forward. And we actually bask in the Europea of, oh, he is our president. And I think in history of this country, there was never an individual and there still has not, we haven't had one that has enjoyed the support of the ordinary people that has raised the hope of everybody, that has the credibility to say that his individual credibility will rub on the country leadership than President Muhammadu Buhari. And the North rooted for him for decades and spent money and time and invested so much in his becoming the president of this country. Today, we are discussing all the challenges the country is facing under the same President Muhammad Buhari. So we are coming to the realization that it's not about individuals now. It's about the system. It's about the fact that the system is cobbled in such a way that there is what I will call a pull him down syndrome. There is internal squabbles for power and positions. There are forces working counterproductively for the way the country move forward. And all of those forces emanates from those regional dynamics. The sense, real or otherwise, of marginalization, the sense of domination, the sense of um, um, opportunity and patronage is uh, skewed to one part of the country or one ethnic groups. And all of these perceptions are becoming reality in our life. Reality in the sense that there are examples we can show. Another most important thing was that the president was perceived to be, like we said, a general, but also a very, very credible anti-corruption crusader. He has stated this, he has demonstrated this, he has lived this. And now we are witnessing that the system can actually leak and can invite people who can actually be marauders that can wreak havoc on the system. Unfortunately, the president's capacity and individual integrity did not stop all of that. So we are coming to a point where we are saying, you know what? It's not working anymore. 